I don't, I don't get anything Tuna? Else. Yeah. Why the hell is tuna not haram? I'm not sure. They get dragged out the ocean by their face and suffocate to death. I'm not sure about tuna. Yeah, fish feel pain and suffer. So if you're yeah. eating a well, fish... Well, fish, fish are technically made for fishing. <laughs> like fish. fish are made for fishing? Yeah. Eggs. Yeah, I don't eat eggs. Do you know why they do that? To eat them. No, no, no. They kill the males, turn them into pet food because they don't lay eggs. So when they hatch, they separate the females. They keep them because they'll give them eggs. Yeah. The males they just uh, I don't, I don't put eat in eggs a blend. Or chicken. Oh, really? Why is that? I just don't like, like chicken. I, just, I eat meat. We're not eggs or chicken. Because you eat lambs and you eat cows yeah. and. Uh... Okay. Yeah, we're asking people not to. <laughs> Because of I try, I try to not do it as much. You are you against animal cruelty? Not as much. I'm yeah. guessing, but I, I, I don't think people should be eating too much of it. Like they should still. Like yeah, just a, but you would. You don't think I people still have it as a protein sometimes. We're not. Do, uh, like, you think it's cruel to slaughter animals? Well, they they made to be eaten. To be fair. Yeah. yeah. If they're meant to be eating, why do they feel pain and suffer and want to live and all of that? Well, that was their job in the beginning. That's how God put them there. You reckon? Yeah. What about plants? Do you think? What about plants? Do you think they're more likely to be plants? You know, yeah, like plant foods, like fruits and vegetables and grains. Yeah, they're eating as well. Yeah, they don't suffer. They don't want to live. They don't feel pain. Yeah, yeah true. It makes more sense to if you. Yeah, do, we still need protein with it. Yeah. Do you think you can get protein from plants? You can't. Go. Not, not everyone will eat plants every day. Like if, uh, if someone eats plants every day, they'll get bored. Really? Yeah. There's thousands of different plant foods and... Most of, most of the foods you probably eat are you, are you vegan? Yeah. Do you, eat, do you eat cheese? Yeah. Yeah, cheese. vegan cheese. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, like, uh, you can swap your dairy for vegan cheese or plant milk or vegan yogurt. You don't uh, drink milk? Yeah, I just drink plant milk. So either oat milk or soy milk or uh, rice milk or almond milk. I like oat milk myself. Yeah. And I get I eat Subway, uh, you know, Pizza Hut, vegan option. Greg's have got vegan sausage roll, and I just don't, uh, I just don't use animals, man. I think it's cruel. I, d I wouldn't want to hurt a dog. Yeah. I uh, just live my life without trying yeah, to yeah, yeah. try my best to not cause them yeah. suffering, you know. Yeah. What do you think of that? This what guy, this guy is everything. Yeah, but what do you think about animal cruelty and no, just in? It's, 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 it's not good, eh? So, like, if, if you see me here attacking a dog, right, and I said to you, no, it's okay, I'm going to eat them because we need protein and we've been doing it for thousands of years, you'd probably tell me you're crazy. You'd probably no, say, there's no other meat. There's no, you have to eat a dog if there's no other meat. Dogs are not, are not made for it. Do you religion. have to eat a pig? In my religion. In my Do you religion. have to eat a lamb? I mean, you don't probably yeah. don't eat pigs. A lot of people don't. Yeah. If there's a, if, well, we believe in my religion. If there's no thingy... We could eat pigs. There's no meat. What are you Muslim? Yeah. yeah, it doesn't tell you you have to eat animals as a Muslim. I know it doesn't, but it's in the sun there. Yeah, but it doesn't say. Uh, that's Allah what, says. That's, that's what Allah says you must. You that's must to be a Muslim. Every animal is made for something. Like chicken, is made for, and pig. Pig, uh, it's still made for a reason, for medicine and shit. Well, he isn't pigs haram. It's haram, but it's made for medicine. It's not made for be eaten because pigs. Are, what we say, pigs are dirty. Like they eat their own shit and all that. Yeah. Well, I, I just I personally think like well, as a Muslim, you can. I know plenty of vegan Muslims. You don't have to eat animals. Yeah, yeah, God no, doesn't no, say no. that it's haram it's, not to eat animals. It's not. It's not haram that not to eat animals. But God advised to eat it. Okay, and and do you feel like if the animal has suffered, that that would be haram? Yeah, yeah if the animal yeah. suffered, yeah. So do, do you follow the animal to the slaughterhouse from the farm? You know exactly yeah. what's happening to them. Yeah. Do you? Yeah, in Muslim countries, if you go to a Muslim country, they all do it. So, but do you know where your animals are coming from here when you eat them? No, not here. So you don't know that they haven't suffered? No, but we believe, like during the butchers, we believe that they know where, thingy, where it's coming from. So yeah. we believe in the butcher. If, that's, if the butcher's doing something wrong, that's up to them. But the butchers have, con like the, our butchers contact the farm, like the butchers that we, but they say that we want them treated differently. Like, yeah. And even when they get killed, we get killed the right way. Not not like throw them in thingy. We, yeah. we we're like, when we say it, so you, you can't, you don't actually know, do you? You don't actually do you, know when you eat an animal, when you no, eat flesh. You don't actually believe, know they haven't suffered. No, we believe in the in the butchers. Like the butchers, they have special farms, the special thing. Uh, they buy from special people, from special. Not, they, they, they wouldn't let it kill like that. Like the butchers will kill it themselves. 
Like they go to the farm, kill it themselves and things. Even, yeah, even but do you know that? Like when you let's yeah, just say yeah, when you're I eating know. out. I, tr I trust our butchers. Yeah, you trust your butcher. Yeah. Do you only ever eat animals from your butcher? Never out. Yeah, never. No. No, no. So, so I don't. I don't know where they're like. If I go to a restaurant, I don't know where that meat is coming from. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But like, uh, like if you got a choice to cut an animal's head off or to eat plants, what do you think is the more ethical option? I think the chop to the animal's head off. Is more ethical yeah. than eating plants. I, I, don't, I don't think. I don't think you need to eat plants. Like you, you have to change it in your life. Yeah, I mean, like, like if you've got an option to not cut like an animal's was the last head time off. You ate, you ate an animal. Uh, November two thousand and thirteen. Well, what made you stop? I think it's cruel and abusive just to stab someone in the throat because I want to eat their dead body. I don't think that I need. I don't need to. I'm not trying to survive. We've got plant-based options. So let's, see, let's see. There was no plants on this earth. Okay, well there is, so I don't have to worry about it. Let's say there's no plants. Would you eat, would I, you I might even eat you if I was in a survival, so if I was going to die. Would you eat a human than eat an animal? No, well if I had no choice and there was no animals, I'd probably no, try to say, eat let's you. Let's say there was, there was humans and animals, but there was no plants at all. Yeah, I'd probably eat a chicken. Yeah. I don't know, if I was going to die, I might even eat someone I don't like yeah. over the chicken. That's what we I might say. let the chicken survive. That's what, and that's what we said to pigs, like if there's nothing else to eat, then pigs have to be eaten. But yeah, but we got plants, so what's the point? Yeah, of what true. we're doing to them, yeah. cutting yeah. like... It's all, it all depends to what you believe Where, where do you like. believe you go when you die? Heaven? Yeah, heaven. Okay, do you think okay. there are slaughterhouses in heaven cutting animals' heads off? No, I think, I think... I, I, I don't know a lot, a lot about the subject, but I think there's already meat there. You don't need to put animals. Yeah. There, there'll be animals there, like birds and everything. Wasn't Muhammad nice to, an, nice to animals, Muhammad? Sorry? In the stories of Muhammad, he was not kind to animals, yeah? Kind to a kid, I think it was a kitten yeah. in one of the stories. Yeah, so like Muhammad has a choice, if you believe Muhammad is compassionate, Muhammad has a choice, cut yeah, an animal's head off. We don't, we, don't, we don't eat kids. Sorry? We don't eat kids. No, I'm just saying he was generally kind to animals, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah so he, he, but Prophet Muhammad, he ate animals as well. I'm proposing a question, if he had a choice, but maybe no choice back then, but he has a choice he now. He was, the, the Islam was very rich at the time. He could have ate anything he wants, but he could. He wanted to eat animals. It's not. It's not a bad thing. It's not. It's not haram. Like God made animals to be eaten. To then, okay. Well, let, let's stick, let's stick there. If God made animals to be eaten. Yeah. Then why did He make them to feel pain, suffer, and want to live? What do you mean? Well, well animals. Everyone, everyone suffers. So, yeah, not but, only animals. Yeah, but you think plants can suffer? Do you think I a tomato I don't, I don't can suffer? Feeling. I don't have the feeling. Well, if they, yeah, plants if they, don't have feelings, okay. Yeah, exactly. so, so if God made plants not to have feelings and animals to have God feelings... Made, God made plants and made animals as well. They're both to be eaten, not only yeah, one to be I was eaten. Just, one, I was just wondering, others. like, so if one has feelings, animals have feelings, why did he make them with feelings? I don't know. Well, that's a pretty silly thing to do. If they were meant to be food, why didn't he just make them not be able to feel pain? I'm not, I'm not really sure about that question. Well, bro, I'm just saying, like, it makes more logical sense that he made plants, fruits, vegetables, nuts, grains, legumes. Yeah. Okay. And I've heard before, I don't know, the, the story of Garden of Eden, I know that Garden of Eden was vegan, no, no animals were being butchered and killed. I mean, if God, if you believe that God gave you this loophole where if you do it a certain way, it's passable, but we've also got the choice not to do it as well. Yeah. And that you still can be a good Muslim. Like what, like what, yeah, this video that you're showing right now, yeah, they're they're cruel. I I I against I against it as well. But uh, like well, in Islam, we we treat it differently. I've we don't treat it like that. Have you ever been to a Muslim country? I've, well, you're not in a Muslim country. You're in England. But have you ever been to a Muslim country? Um, no, I haven't. But you're not in a Muslim got, country, so let, oh. let's say let's say you go to any Muslim country right now, yeah. Yeah. You go there. You go see how they treat animals. You go to the farms. You go to the to anywhere you want, yeah. You go see how that chill. We don't we don't treat them like that. Even even when we eat it here, we don't we don't we don't eat it like but that. But you're in the UK, so I'm from very familiar know, with you. But, I'm, but, but our our butchers they don't do this to them. I'm very. But the butchers have got nothing to do with the farm. No, the butchers know the farms. They they, yeah. they have special treatments. So I was at a halal slaughterhouse the other day, um, where they're slaughtering chickens. All yeah. right, the chicken. Ninety-five percent of the chickens in the UK or higher are factory farmed. Yeah. So they would they would say that that's halal. So they were they no, were no no, 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 this comes out to that debate because for us here, we we have different farms, different. You go try. If you want, I'll give you an address in long site. You go speak to them. You go see how we treat them. We treat animals. So you're telling me when you're out and about, you will only go. Even to even even if the if the let's say uh, a cow is sick, we're not allowed to eat it. We have to have a healthy cow because yeah. the cow is, is just going. So who is eating all of this halal meat that are coming from factory farms? 
it, it, it all depends. Look, well, there's two who's eating that? There's two sectors. There's two sectors of Islam. Well, our sectors, like Shia sectors, we got to eat something else. Um, like we have our own butchers, our own farms, our own everything. Like, like you probably went to a Sunni one. Like you said, ninety-five percent. But, but you, you, we don't have you've that. never been. Have you ever been to one of these farms? No, I in the UK. I, I, so how do you know? Because my butchers told me. It doesn't matter. The butcher can tell you anything. No, because we're not allowed to lie in our religion. Uh, well, it doesn't mean that Muslims don't lie. That, no, that maybe I, he I, did, maybe he tells you. Maybe no, he doesn't know himself. In, in, our, in our religion, do you know that the industry tells the public here that this is humane. And then people don't look into it till we go look into it. I'm not sure. Yeah. And how do you think they kill the chickens? They, sl- they cut the head off. They slit their throat. Yeah. So in the big, so how many th- how many think you're, they're doing a, d- a day? Thousands. Thousands. Yeah. So they can do that all very clean, quick. Yeah. But you're never going to run out of chicken. Like they're always get, they're always going to be a reproduction of chicken. There's always big chickens a- kill chicken. That's how that's how we, that's how we've been living thousands of years now. Do you think if I grab a, a what, what type of animal is um what type of animals are armed to eat a dog? A dog haram to eat, a cat haram to eat, uh, a fox I believe haram to eat, uh, pig is haram to eat. A lot of animals are haram to eat. Okay, uh, so what about a uh, some some fish animals as well? I'm not sure which ones. Okay, a shark I think. So what type of species? Let's think of a species. I'm not sure. And a kangaroo, well, kangaroo yeah. haram to eat. Yeah. How do you know? Because I've looked into it. So there's only five animals that you're allowed to eat as a Muslim? No, not really. We could eat pigeons, uh, chicken, meat, like, um, lamb, cow meat, like sheep. What about a squirrel? No, no, I don't think so. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really sure if we're allowed to eat squirrel, but I don't think anyone, any Muslims have ever done that before. Do you think it's, uh, as long as, uh, like, so basically you base all of your morals on only whether or not it's you know, passable in your religion. You don't yeah. look. At, you don't look outside of that and go. Well, wait a second. This animal's feeling pain. They're going to suffer. Um, they might. They, if the animal they... suffer, we're not allowed to eat it in our religion. No. Just to make that. So clear. when you get a sharp knife and slash it across your throat, do you think that you would suffer? Yeah, suffer for a few seconds. They'll die. That's okay. Well, wait, wait a second. Okay. You just admitted that they'll suffer for a few seconds. Yeah, obviously. So if you can so, avoid so that, any, few... any, any 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 animal, if you cut its head off, it's going to suffer. Yeah. Well, if I cut your head right now, you would. Sh- choke on your blood yeah exactly you would feel the pain of me cutting through your nerves exactly. have you ever cut your finger yeah there's no, nerves no, no. well there's nerves in your finger there's nerves yeah. in your neck so basically you're going to choke on your blood well, and then you're going to die are, that's what animals are made for so if the animal suffers they are haram no not really that's but what you just made, said that that's though. what they're made for if they're suffering before they're dead like but you just like said, the meat the meat we're not allowed to eat it but if they're suffering like after they die that's obviously i've seen i've seen i've seen in front of my eyes uh, a sheep getting killed like We'll suffer for like 10 seconds and we'll die. Well, they suffer? Yeah. So why would you cause that suffering when you can eat plants? Well, not everyone wants to eat plants. Yeah, but I'm just asking why, what about the suffering? Why, if, you, if suffering is haram and you can avoid that, why not eat a plant-based and still be a good Muslim? No, because like, if, I, if someone eats plants like, all their life, they don't get bored. I've seen a lot of vegans before from vegan uh, like, I, I never I, get bored have you vegan. seen vegan food dude have know, you seen what we got know, we got know, chocolate we got burgers we got fries we got whatever we want I yeah. never get bored I'm, I'm gonna watch I don't get fat yeah. we got cupcakes and donuts and cream filled yeah. everything it's just made of plants do you eat dairy uh, yeah How do, dairy's haram I was suffering. They take the calves away. The, bo- the boys, uh, they keep the dairy industry is haram. If you care about suffering, they take away their calves. I'm saying, I'm saying, well, we care about suffering before we kill them. If it's a healthy, let's say if there's a healthy animal, if we kill them like in the name of God, like we, like that's not haram because we kill them in the name of God to be eaten. That's what God made it for. That's what I mean. But if, they, if there's an animal suffering, like an ill animal. We're not allowed to eat that. Well, you eat dairy, it's a product of uh, horrific suffering. The dairy industry, I'm they take... Sure. I'm not sure how dairy is made. Yeah, well, I know all about it, so I can tell you. They forcibly impregnate the, the female animal, and stick the fin- fist in their ass, put the, um, the pipette full of bull semen. When they become pregnant, after nine months, they take uh, the calf away yeah. uh, because the calf will drink the milk. Then they, they enslave them for their milk and take the milk away. They kill the boys if they're born a boy. They kill them because they're just a waste product in the dairy like, industry. Uh, the videos that you're showing right now, this, this is the bolt gun. This will never happen in a Muslim butcher. Or a Muslim I've uh, butcher. seen uh, halal slaughter for... I've seen many instances of halal slaughter and what they're trying to pass as halal slaughter. I've also seen uh, proper orthodox uh, halal slaughter where they have them and they don't let them see each other. I've seen that too. I've seen the animals yeah, yeah, struggling do, do, and suffering. Yeah, I still see them suffering. <laughs> I see animals getting their head cut off really quick with a sharp knife by um, 
you know, a real, uh, you know, religious Muslim doing it the, real, the proper way, and it's yeah. still they suffer. Yeah. Yeah, and they want, they don't want to die, and all of these things. Yeah. But let's say they don't die. What, what are we going to live on? Like, we can't just live on vegan the rest of our life. But what do you think a vegan eats, dude? Sorry. What do you think a vegan eats? I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, bread and legumes and vegan cheese and uh, you know we we have a bunch of stuff here. Basically everything that you can eat, I have vegan versions of. Like there's nothing that you won't will miss out on. Like yeah. imagine if and I cut eat, your neck right now. Eat, and eat as well. We eat a lot of animals. I've seen a lot, a lot, a, a lot of the the, lot. the slaughter is just um, sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's um, it's completely needless now. It's needless. What do you think? When you sacrifice, you can sacrifice your time, your money, you can sacrifice uh, to help the poor, you can do lots of sacrifice. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's a tradition, it's merely a tradition, really. Yeah, and traditions can be outdated and cruel. Yeah. That's, but, that's what God made them for. But wait a second, why is God so against you eating a suffered animal? <laughs> what do you mean? You believe they can suffer? Yeah. Yeah. Why did God make them so they can suffer? To be why didn't he just make them as halal automatically? No. You understand? No, I'm saying chicken are halal everywhere. But the way they get killed, that's what makes it halal and haram. Like yeah. sheep, sheep, sheep is halal everywhere. But what if they live in suffering? It's still, it's still haram. Well, that, that's, why, that's, that's why in Muslim countries we make sure that it just happens. Uh, well, it depends on what country and depends. Every you're making country. a statement without every, evidence. Every, Muslim country, uh, I went to Bali and that, that has a good, decent Muslim population. And yeah. I went into a, a slaughterhouse. He claimed it was Have halal. Have you been to UAE? UAE. What's this? In Dubai. Dubai, no, no, no. Go there and speak, speak to one of if you're allowed to. Dude, if anyone wants to take me into a slaughterhouse and I'll bring my camera and film the whole thing, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and then if we can you, talk about whether or not that there, animal if suffered. There, if you go there, any butcher, if you go to them, they'll do more with them, more than. Have you ever been in a slaughterhouse and watched animals in be. Ir in Iraq, not in, not in okay. here. Yeah, I'm talking about in the UK. No, not in the UK. Okay, because this is where you're eating your meat from. Yeah. And I probably know more about the industry than you do. But yeah. you'll trust your butcher, but hey, give me your, tell your butcher, give me an email. Yeah. I want to go to the, his farm, this magical farm. Yeah. Where are these farms, dude? How many uh, Muslims are in the you UK? You want address? Huh? You want address? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. I'll look long, into it. It's a long site. Go speak to them. You could ask them to show you the farm, this, everything. So when you go out during the day right now, what are you going to eat? I don't eat meat. I wait, I wait till I get home. Like if I, if I, uh, I'm the same as you right now. If I go to Pasta or go to any, I have to eat something halal. Like if I go to Subway, I have to go get tuna or something. I don't, I don't get anything Tuna? Else. Yeah. Why the hell is tuna not haram? I'm not sure. They get dragged out the ocean by their face and suffocate to death. I'm not sure about tuna. Yeah, fish feel pain and suffer. So if you're yeah. eating a well, fish... Well, fish, fish are technically made for fishing. <laughs> like, like fish are made for fishing? Yeah. Okay, but, but wait a second, they suffer too. Yeah, I know they suffer, but they're, they're, they're taking mid provision. So where, where, do you, where, where is all this fish getting her, her, like killed in a halal way on the boat? There's no halal way of killing fish. In. So it doesn't matter, they're exempt. Matter, yeah. They're exempt, they, they have a get out of her jail free card. These fish, don't worry about it, no worries. So you could torture, I could essentially torture a fish right no, here. You can't, you can't torture a fish. You, Why not? Wait a second, it's, they're exempt from it's the... Made, it's meant to be eaten. It's not meant to be tortured. Like any animal, right now you're making it sound like um, they're made to be tortured. They're not. They're I don't, I know, I don't think they're made to be eaten or tortured at all. But I'm just saying, essentially what you're saying is fish are exempt from your religious rules here. Yeah. That I could torture a fish just, and it would still be um, halal. Yeah. Well, that's just inconsistent. That's logically inconsistent. Doesn't make any sense. It's okay to question things. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. But you can question things yourself. You don't have to just submit completely to all these things that don't. You know, yeah. you can believe in your in God. I have no problem with believing in God. But when you're using God to justify cruelties, so you tell me you don't eat chicken, no meat, nothing. Well, there's no. Well, God's not telling you you have to. I can be a vegan Christian. I can be a vegan Muslim. If you go to be a Muslim or a Christian. You'll see why. I know vegan Muslims. I, I know vegan Muslims as well, but they, I, I know a lot of vegan Muslims that turn. To are they bad Muslims? Meat. They're not bad Muslims. But they, they start eating meat after they said there's no point of being vegan. There's not, it's not like a compulsory thing anymore. Well, it depends on if you care about ethics outside of your religion. Yeah, but, but what we believe is uh, what animals are made for, for medicine, uh, for fun, for fishing, and for eating. So they're made for pleasure, to basically experiment on, yeah. 
And for fun, you say? Yeah, for fishing. That's fishing. Yeah, that's some people go fishing for fun. So if they were made for fishing, why didn't they just? Why didn't God just make them so they didn't suffer? I just don't understand. I'm not sure. So that, what, do you think that's more the work of the devil? Sorry. Why would someone create animals to suffer, especially a fish? You say they're just here for fishing. I don't know where that's written in the religious text, but we can talk about that. That is. If he's like, okay, I'm going to make fish for fishing. Okay, I'm also going to make it so they suffer extremely bad like when they even, get hooked in the face. Uh, but like, what, is, what, is, what would God say if I just uh, killed a dog in a halal way and just used him as a jacket? No, that, that's only, God said that's only if it's like the last resort. Like if there's no plants, no animals, if you're in the desert by yourself, then you could eat a dog if you don't have a dog. Okay. That's all. So dogs are a last resort, but eating a sheep is the first resort. Why? Because sheep are made to be eaten. Dogs are not made to be eaten. Dog, dog, well, like, well, sheep are made to be eaten. Dogs are made to be for security. Well, that's the last resort. Like, if that, that's the last thing you can do for a sheep, for a dog. Yeah. But first resort, cut a sheep's head off, no worries, even if there's plants available. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's completely inconsistent, personally. I think it's inconsistent. I, I think there's, there's no point. You don't have to. It's needless. It's cruel. You know they suffer. You go. It all goes down to what you believe in. Yeah. Well, you believe it too, because you just you believe they suffer when they have their throat slashed open. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you think pig, pig, pigs were put here for, to be eaten? No, for medicine. So why do why do like I said Muslims have a different belief to most other people who believe pigs are put here to be eaten? No, we believe uh, pigs are here for medicine. So Christians believe pigs were put here to be eaten too. And we find pigs are dirty as well. Yeah. Like you, you'll have a pig how, take a shit, go. Go over there, come, come back, eat some shit. It's not even, it's not even healthy. It's not even healthy. You eat, uh, you eat dairy, so this is what you support when you eat dairy. Yeah. Uh, these are calves being killed because they're useless in the dairy industry. So I think the dairy, pro the dairy problem for you might be a bit significant. I'm not sure. I'll look into it. And then... So why is dairy halal? Do you, do you have halal dairy? No, I, I, don't, I don't think so. Okay, so these, these, so basically these. Um, these animals in the dairy industry are not being killed halal, but you're funding this industry to happen. This is a calf in a dead bin. This is actually me at a dairy farm in the UK. Look at this suffering, taken away from their mothers and kept in cages. This is uh, hutches, you know, enslaved. This is slavery. So we, we, you consume dairy and all this. Like this is why this is why your religion's not covering everything here. You know they suffer, you can avoid that little bit of suffering. You wouldn't even have to say that forgiveness prayer. You could just eat plant foods. Um, but it comes down to, you know, you, I, th I feel like you're using um, your religion as like this, it's more, it's like a, no, but I think, I think my a justification. Right, right, right religion, so everything, I believe everything that in my religion is correct. Yeah. Do you do, you do anything for your own person, out of your own personal mind? Like your own personal reasoning? Yeah, that's what God gave us free will. Okay, so you've got That's free will. I could, I could choose right now to go eat, eat bacon, but I don't, I, don't, I don't choose to because I believe in God. You, you could also God, choose God. right now to do something that's not haram, like eat bacon, and choose to eat plants and not... Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, and that would make me less of a Muslim. No, but, but, but I'm talking about... I, I, choose, I choose to just follow the sunnah of the Prophet. That's what the Prophet used to do, that's what I'm going to do. All I'm saying is back then times were different. Now you've got the, the freedom of choice, right, to... But you still have to profit the Prophet. You have to follow the Prophet, what he did. Yeah. Like the prophet, the prophet didn't say it's haram to not to not eat animal. Like you could choose to eat animal, you could choose to not eat animal. And it, make, and it makes food. a difference to the animal. It makes a difference to the animal. I'm not sure. That, that small amount, so. that suffering, that cutting their head off, it makes a difference to them. I think so. so. I think you could ha you could also have your own ethics that don't affect your religion outside of your religion. Yeah. And, but yeah, you know, like why? I don't. I just think why not? Why add to this? This bloodbath of animals having their heads slashed off. Yeah. But you don't have to. You know, it's not gonna. You don't have to. It's not mandatory in your religion. You're using your religion to justify it. Can you kill an animal yourself? No. Wait. Wait a second. Animals were put here for you if I and to, to be eaten. Why if can't I you? To, oh, well, wait a second. Wait. If you had to, but I, why, I, what, personally, I personally would kill an animal. What would? It, how would it make you feel to kill an animal right now? So, but that, that's what that's what we have special people to do it. Yeah, no, I was just I'm wondering. Not, not. I was just wondering, like, what would happen to your emotions if you slice the lamb's head off right now? If I have to, then I would. On no, no, need, no, no, need, that's need, the need, I've done it before. What What would happen to your emotions? Nothing really. You wouldn't feel a thing. Okay. What about you? If you, yeah, a six-month-old lamb right here. 
um, and you had to slice their head off, would, would that make you feel a certain way? Oh, yeah. I, I, I don't yeah, agree with I you, by the way. I think you would feel a bit funny yeah, about I it. I feel different compared to because it's not something I would do for my religion or anything like that. Yeah. A little lamb screaming, you know, you're holding them down and then you're slashing their throat and they bleed out, choke on their own blood. If I do it the right way, I don't mind doing yeah. it. Would you want to be killed in the Halal way? You can't, you can't kill anyone in the Halal way. Like, no, no, like, would you rather die uh, with a knife across your throat or with a bullet in the back of your head? Any. Any, wouldn't matter. So you're telling me, would, you, would an animal rather get killed the halal way or would it get shot like the uh, haram way? Well, I go the vegan way, which is not doing either. Exactly, there's no difference. But I'm just wondering if you would like to have your throat slashed open the halal way or get executed from behind. I don't mind. You wouldn't mind? I am not. I haven't been put into this to this world to be eaten or to be used as medicine. I've been put into the world to live my life and follow God. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that you suffer differently to how like a pig would suffer? Sorry? Do you think that you suffer... Well, you have we, to understand, you have to understand, I'm not a pig. Yeah. Like, uh, do you think they I'm suffer not, any different? I'm not, I'm not made to do what a pig has, to do what a pig does. Uh, what about eating a monkey? Is eating a monkey haram? Yeah. How do you know? Because uh, I've read, read it before. Who tells you this? It's written in uh, the Quran? No, no, I don't think it's written in the Quran. Okay, so it's not even but written in the Quran. I used, to, I used to go to schools back in, when I was young. Mm. Just tell them what's right in the Quran. Isn't the Quran only God's word and everything else is just... Uh, so if it's not written in the Quran, it's written in the Sunnah. That's what the prophet. That's what the prophet said. The Sunnah is what the prophet says. Oh, so the prophet said. Okay, that's different. So the prophet actually said, "Don't eat a monkey. That's haram." And he went through the like fifty thousand wild species and said, "This is one's haram. This one's not. This one's haram." And it all comes down to common sense as well. Would you ever eat a monkey? Ah, oh, no, 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 wait a second, the, common sense, you know, what do you, you think? You don't let me ask any questions, you're asking all okay, the questions. Okay, no, you ask me, come on. Would you rather eat a, like if you had no choice, would you rather eat a monkey or a sheep? Uh, if I had no choice? Yeah. But you just gave me a choice, a monkey or a sheep. Yeah. So that's the only choice? Yeah. Like no, no other choice, I mean, like no plants, nothing. Except if you had a, if you had uh, well, it depends like what type of monkey, like how big, how much bigger. In general, in general, would you rather eat a mature, a, a mature monkey or a mature sheep? I'd kill the sheep because it's bigger and I could live longer. Like, I'd kill you if you're bigger than him. I think he's big, bigger than you. I'd probably kill you because so I, you I could eat, eat more of you. Would you ever eat a monkey if there's no choice? I'd eat you if there was no choice. Would so, there, would, would, so would you rather eat a human than a monkey? Uh, if between you and a monkey, I'd, I'd eat the monkey. Exactly. Yeah. So but that doesn't mean... Hey, wait a it second. It all comes down to that doesn't, sense But, but where the common sense is, if it was you, a monkey and a vegan burger, I'll eat the vegan burger. So that's the choice you have right now. I don't know why you don't make that choice. It's common sense, eh? It's not common sense. Yeah, it is. No one has to have their throat slashed open. If, it's com if, I, if I go with common sense, I've just got to eat with meat. You just said uh, you, sometimes you have to use common sense, but I want to know if your yeah, that, religion my, dictates that, that's everything you do. Sense. That's my common sense. If I, had a, if I had a choice between a halal animal right now to eat, or a vegan, a vegan burger, I'd rather eat a halal, a halal animal. Mm. If, you're, if you're looking at me in my common sense, I'd, that's what I'd rather do. Yeah. Even though the vegan burger is actually halal as well. Yeah, but I'd rather have the meat. Yeah. For what? For your pleasure? Yeah. Okay. That's what it comes down to for most people. Not really. Yeah. Because, uh, well, you don't drink any alcohol? No, I don't. Did you just lie to me? No. I thought Muslims don't lie. I, I don't drink alcohol. <laughs> I don't drink alcohol, don't worry. Never drunk alcohol before, huh? Never in my life. Don't even know what it tastes like, wine? Never. I don't drink alcohol. I'm a lie detector test, you know that, eh? I don't drink alcohol. Yeah, but I'm not, not, I'm not saying you don't drink it, but I'm just saying, have you ever drunk it? I've drunk it, yeah, once. Yeah, yeah, of course. I've never... I don't know, so that's haram? Not really, because I didn't know it was alcohol. That was an accident? Yeah, this guy put it in my drink and then... The thing is right now, yeah, you've, you've looked into everything right now. I haven't looked into anything. I'm just, I'm just living what everyone else did. But you're, you're, you've looked into Muslim, you've looked into atheists, you've looked into everything. And you're, you're just talking to me like, I haven't already looked into it. If I look into it, I'll come debate you. 
Well, we're not story. debating. Like, we're, I'm basically trying to find out. Like, you believe God created you with a conscience. You know, you believe God that created animals, but God yeah. also created them to suffer. Um, I'll show most Muslims what happens in a slaughterhouse where animals are having their head cut off. They feel sick. They don't want to see it. This is awful. You know, um, I just don't know how, how why God would make humans be disgusted when they see an animal get their head cut off. The animals are actually suffering and really want to live. You, you know, I just still feel like like. If God is compassionate, loving, caring, all loving, and we have a choice to not have slaughterhouses, I just don't see why not. You never know what they feel like until until you 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 actually become an animal. You know, then you're... I am an animal. What do you mean when I become an animal? I'm an animal. I know what it's like to be scared and so, don't want to die. They have a brain, eyes, functioning nervous system. They they run away from danger. I know exactly what it would what it would be like. I think what you should what you should do. You should go to a Muslim country. Go to uh, Iraq, UAE, any any Middle Eastern country. Yeah. Go see how they kill animals. I've seen how they do it. Go see how they kill animals, and later they might, just cut might, their head off without convert to a, to a Muslim later. If you if you if you see how they kill animals, how we treat animals, you might bring your phone out and get show me show me footage. I don't have any footage right now. Yeah, you can find that. Uh, Iraq animal slaughter. Just put it up. Full Islamic Eid. Ah, Al Ahadi ritual slaughter. Yeah. So this is a Muslim country, yeah. Okay. Let's watch it together. What do you think this animal's feeling right now? Do you think this animal's suffering right now? I don't know, so. What do you think? Do you think this animal's suffering? Choking? You never know. You never know? You never know. No, no one likes to die, but you never know if that animal is suffering right now because it's made to be like that. No. So you don't think animals feel any feelings? Animals feel no feelings. But you care if they suffer, so you know they feel feelings. Because <laughs> you're worried about them when they suffer. So you know they feel feelings, but you're like, oh, now, now you say, oh, you never know, you never know. So you contradict yourself all throughout the conversation. Uh, let's say there's an animal right now. Yeah. You don't eat it. You yeah. don't use it for medicine. You don't use it for anything. Yeah. Well, what is it for? What is it for then? What is it useful? Same thing like uh, just, uh, I'd say that, that this person here is not here to be used either. I'd just say he's here to experience we're, we're his life. We're different to animals. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, I, I look at them not the same, but like, uh, you know, if, if I just see them as being here to experience life as well. How do you know, how do you know that, that doesn't have a feeling right now? Because it doesn't have a brain, a functioning nervous system, you, you, no you, nerves. You, you, never, you never know if that feeling right now. Well, you know, I don't know if that... It be the same as an animal right now. Do you know when you say, I never when know, you, you never it, know, you never when know. When you cut it, when you cut it, when you cut it right now, it might be the same as putting the animal's neck. Well, absolutely not, it's not. You never know. They don't have eyes brain nerves we well, do know with science we can understand the what reality in we're in i don't believe in science yes you do I'm a, I'm a, i believe in religion because you believe in animal testing for bloody medicine you believe in medicine which is science you're just contradicting yourself well, all that, over that, the shop that was based on my, my religion my religion no, no, no. Do you if you don't believe in science don't use medicine don't use technology so i don't use animals for anything so right now if i don't use animals for anything i feel like you pick this one thing eating animals right but you don't. You pick and choose. You don't. You don't. You're not living back then in whenever Muhammad was around. Like you're picking this one thing because, and all it comes down to is you like the taste and you don't want to change. That's all it is. Yeah, I don't change. Yeah, you like the taste, you don't want to change, and you want to justify it so you don't feel bad. Like you're, you're trying to say that animals are more superior than humans. Uh, no, not more superior at all. Like, I don't know where you that's got that idea that's from. That's what you're trying to say right now. No, 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 no I'm just other, saying they're worthy enough other, not to be stabbed to death. You're other test medicines on humans that test on animals. No, consenting humans. Didn't you hear the word consenting? Well, you know what that means? animals don't have a choice, do they? Exactly, they're, they're, that's why it's evil. So you can't, you can't really put them two together. And you're forcing, we're forcing animals into slaughterhouses, really forcing them to die, anything. forcing them into testing labs. Why would an animal eat an animal then? Why do they? Out of yeah. survival. Do, 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 you not, do you not think... Yeah, where do Out of survival. Yeah, so, so, you say, so you're saying an animal can eat an animal. No, we can't eat an I'm animal. Saying, uh, no, I'm saying, why do you eat animals? For pleasure, you just told me, because you like the taste. Yeah, I like the taste. Okay, so animals don't eat because they like the taste. They eat yes, other animals out yeah, of survival. Yeah, they have to. Why do, why do lions 
Why do lions animals? eat their own cubs? Why do lions eat, eat animals? Why do lions eat their own cubs? And they have a choice to eat. eat Listen to me, dude. Lions eat their own cubs. I'm not really sure. No, they are. They do. I can show you right now. Lions eat their own cubs. And why do you care what a lion does? Anyway, they don't kill their animals halal. Well, you, care, but you care about animals. But you brother, care about every animal. But brother, lions don't kill their animals halal. They just rip them to shreds. Do you think I think that's, a, that's cool? That lions rip other animals to shreds? I don't think that's cool. The only difference is this guy can go into the supermarket and buy plants. A lion has no choice. They have to eat other animals or they'll die. Uh, the lion will get it for free. Hey? The lion will get it for free. The lion will get what? Plants for free. The lion will get plants for free? Yeah, they don't, they you're, can't... You're saying, you're saying I'm going to go to the supermarket, I need to pay for it. A lion, lion will die if they ate plants. What are you talking about? They can't eat plants. They, they have to eat animals to survive. Well, how... how you're 18. Yeah. yeah you, uh, lions are obligate carnivores. They have to eat other animals to survive. They can't I'm, eat plants. I'm not really sure. You've got a choice to eat plants. All right, I think I'm going to pack it up now. Yeah. I'm done, I'm, I'm done with this debate. Right. <laughs> it's been about an hour anyway. Might upload that. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> we'll, see, we'll, see what the, we'll see what the audience thinks, see if you're contradicting yourself or not. Maybe you can read through the comments. All right, catch us later, eh? See you, mate.